Hey everyone, so I'm back with another upcoming Wiz clonable, uh, and this time I have decided to build out an LMS application with my favorite stack, Webflow, Wiz, and Xano. In this demo, I will walk, well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the demo, and if you like, you can also sign up for an account uh, to experience this demo for yourself. You'll find the link in the description below. Uh, before you do, just two things to keep in mind is that you're going to have to use a real email because we have a verification step involved in the signup process. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. And secondly, when you uh, go through the checkout process, which you will before you get into the actual dashboard, uh, it will take you through a Stripe test checkout where you, where you just need to put in a dummy card number. This dummy card number will be supplied to you in the step before you move into the checkout. So we're going to explore that anyway, uh, in this video. And uh, yeah, let's let's get started. Okay, so we're now on the landing page. And our, our demo here also happens to have a little fi fictitious uh, backstory. So we're calling this Flow Academy and Flow Academy is an online learning platform that provides uh, Webflow courses. So you, the plan, the idea is that you would subscribe to a plan and then you get access to any courses and you can enroll into any courses that you'd like. Uh, we, these courses ranges from uh, beginners all the way up to uh, advanced as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what Flow Academy is all about. And uh, the actual courses itself are, are um, YouTube videos that I've taken from uh, all our favorite Webflow content creators like Pixel Geek, Webflow University, WebBay, Timothy Ricks, just just to name a few. So for the sake of this demo, we're going to pretend uh, that those contents are those content are premium gated content. So that being said, let's uh, jump into the demo and go ahead and create an account. So I'm just going to start signing up here. Now what's going to happen is once I click on create account, um, we are going to have a activation link. Amazing, we have sent you an activation link to your email. So that's going to show up on my email. We're gonna click on that link and that link alone will take us to another page that will check if the verification link is indeed valid or not. So the email has shown up. I'm gonna to try to see if I can drag that into this window here. Okay, perfect. So this is the email that I received. Hey, I'm not, we're really excited to have you here in Flow Academy. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link to get my account verified. So let's do that. So in the event that the verification link has expired because you've opened the link um, you know, a few hours later on, then we have a separate flow where it would allow the user to be able to resend the activation link to their email. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty neat flow as well. Now we're on the select a plan page where I can go ahead and select the plan that I prefer. For this purpose, I'm going to stick to the annual plan. Uh, your, your select a plan page is pretty standard page right here. And at the starting of the video, I did mention that I'm also going to provide the dummy card number. So make sure to copy this because you're going to need this in the next step. And the next step is the checkout, which will take us to the Stripe test checkout here. All I need to do is put in the card number here, and then I just need to make sure that I put in a future date here. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. As soon as I hit on subscribe, it should take me to the success page or failure, but you know it should be successful. Now it should redirect me to the dashboard. And there we go, we're finally in our dashboard. So in the dashboard, we have our dashboard overview stats here. We're going to see those in action in just a bit. And then we have our empty state card here. Of course, clicking here will basically register a click on all courses. So let's go ahead and do that. So this will now load up all the courses that Flow Academy has to offer. So we have seven categories of courses being offered here. We have beginners, we have intermediate, we have advanced, interactions only, style system, web apps, and custom builds. And if you want, if you were to click on any of these cards, it will show you um, just a snippet of the chapter and then a video preview of the chapter. Then you have your course uh, 
course detail breakdown, the difficulty, the total duration of this course, and all the relevant chapters related to this course alongside with their with, the, with their duration as well. So yeah, um, you click on any card and that's exactly what you would expect. You know, you would get a complete breakdown of that course. So yeah, pretty, pretty neat stuff. Now, before I jump into the actual uh, course itself, let me show you uh, the bookmarks real quick. Uh, so our if I were to click here, and if I go back to our dashboard, now you'll see that the empty state is gone and it, we are now greeted with our bookmark section. We actually have three sections here in the homepage. One is for bookmark, one is for ongoing courses, and the other is for completed courses. So we're going to explore all that in just a bit. Uh, let me try bookmarking a few more uh, cards. Now, I'm going to be completely transparent here. Uh, this build was quite advanced, and there are a lot of custom JavaScript involved in this. Uh, that being said, uh, there is one flaw with these with the bookmarking feature. Let's say that you go ahead, and if you wanted to, you can't just go ahead and start clicking on bookmark for all the courses here. You know, You have to wait to click into one, see, go back into dashboard, see if that has been registered. Once you notice that that change has is reflected on the UI, then you can move on to bookmarking your next course. Um, or else if you did that, then, you know, Xano wouldn't, wouldn't be able to actually register all those clicks. So yeah. Now, is that possible to resolve that issue? Yes, of course. Using custom JavaScript, you can definitely resolve this. Um, this this application took around almost, um, I'm gonna say seven weeks for me to build this out, to design and build this out. So I didn't wanna spend too much time on this. So yeah, it does have a few bugs here and there. Uh, also another thing to point out is that you'll notice that when, when there is a certain amount of cards inside a container, we also activate our swiper slider. So which is a very cool feature. So as you can see, we have our swiper card activated. If I say remove one card from here, so that's the other bug. Uh, you'll notice that from the UI, it ended up removing two cards, which is not great. But yeah, that's something that I'm going to fix as well. But yeah, uh, you'll also notice that the overview stat here also reflects that we have three bookmarked cards at the moment. So that's pretty cool. Now that we've bookmarked this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with our Webflow e-commerce here as a course and start playing this. So when I click on play by default, this is going to take me to the first played chapter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, play this. Now, another thing to point out here is that over here, initially the plan was to use um, YouTube embed player, but because you can't really edit, customize the UI, I decided to go with a custom JavaScript library for the uh, media controls here, and it's called player.js. And it's a really, really simple to use um, JavaScript library. Uh, you just in install a custom, well, you just have a custom DOM element inside Webflow, apply just four attributes to it, and that's it. That's all the setup that you need. Um, I have two attributes applying from WISD, so, you know, it, one is for the YouTube, well, each and every chapter has its own YouTube ID. So the player is able to grab that YouTube ID, which is being supplied by WISD to this player, and it initializes that ID, and it, that's how it renders that YouTube video straight from here. Now, if I were to pause this video, you'll notice that the YouTube branding shows up. So that's how you know that this is the actual YouTube embed. But of course, the, the way this JavaScript library works, it applies its own skin on top of that embed, so it's really cool. Um, so yeah, also another cool feature about this is that we also have a JavaScript code running on the background every five seconds where we we record your last playback position for a specific chapter. So let's say that at the moment I'm on one minute, three seconds, or I don't know the last recorded um, time it has, but if I were to, let's say, go back to the dashboard, Uh, oh, uh, now we have our ongoing courses section, which is really cool, which also gives us the option to unenroll from this course, which is something we're going to address in just a bit. 
But uh, getting back to our main point, if I were to click on resume now, this will take us to the same playback position we were previously. So let's do that. If I click on play, there we go. It just play, starts playing back from the same position we left it off, which is really cool. And lastly, um, we also have the feature where uh, we're tracking what your progress is. And if you're right at the end of the, when, when you complete the entire video, that's, we also shoot off another request to Xano marking this chapter as complete. And then we also put a complete, well, a check icon uh, right next to the chapter here. So you can also um, reproduce that thing on your own. So I'm gonna go ahead, click here, wait for this course to complete. And there we go, the check icon appears. So our course, is, our chapter is complete. So that is that. Um, now, if I scroll down here, we have our overview tab here that is, gives us a complete breakdown uh, overview of the course and this specific chapter right here. I'm using, um, so when I was setting up my dash, Xano dashboard to populate it with all the courses and its relevant chapters, I had to manually do that. Uh, set all these chapters separately inside in a YouTube custom YouTube playlist and then use YouTube API to gather all those videos and its information and populate my Xano database. And that's it. Um, now all this information is coming straight from my Xano database. So that's something really cool. Okay, another cool feature uh, is, so let me go to the next chapter here. And I think, Okay, so it's two minutes long, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna start playing this. Now I'm gonna head over to, oh, I'm gonna head over to the notes section here. And we have a playback. We have this timer here that reflects your actual playback time. So let's say that for at a specific point of this video, you wanna pause it and um, maybe you wanna take some notes down, you can do that. Oh, and we're using Quill, by the way. We're using Quill JS library, which is a, uh, content editor, rich content editor. Um, so you can type something like, this is cool. And maybe you want to convert this to a H1. And uh, I don't know, you might be wanna apply a bold italics here if you want to, or okay, maybe the, num the number wouldn't work. Okay, so we fix that, change it to a header, create a note, and there we go. That's our note right there pretty cool and our timestamp is also there. So if you want, you can also edit this. This reinitiates the Quill JS editor. Um, okay, save that note. There we go. So I've just edited that and that is really cool. So that's the notes. Uh, now let's move on to our comments. Now for the comments, I'm just using a discuss uh, JavaScript embed, that's it. You just use the provided uh, discuss code and you just put that in WSD and that's it. Um, I initially wanted to create my own custom uh, comment commenting section, but turns out it's quite a big fish to fry. So I didn't want to spend too much time on this. So just to save myself some time, just went with discuss for this. And yeah, uh, and that's that for the course page. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually mark all these chapters complete so I can show you how we can generate certificate as well because we do Flow Academy does provide certificate for completing each and every courses. So I'm going to manually go go here and click right to the end, wait for this to pop up. Okay. Go to the next chapter. Okay, so I'm on the last chapter here and I'm just going to go ahead and skip all that to somewhere over here. All right, there we go. That took a while, but it went through. Okay, now that our course is complete, let's head over to our dashboard. And you'll notice that our ongoing courses uh, section has disappeared. That's because we don't have any other courses going for us. Instead, we have another section here called certification uh, with a followed by a very corny uh, slogan here, download the badge of your hard work. Yeah, GPT really didn't do a great job there, but at least you understand the point of this section. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and download this certificate and 
I'm going to save that. And let me see if I can open this up or drag that window here. All right, so there we go. So it's just a simple document that ha that prints your first name, last name, has successfully completed the course Webflow e-commerce, which is a course name on, and then we have the date here, and then we have Flow Academy. So that's what the um, that's what the certificate looks like. I'm using DocuGenerate for this, which is uh, a, a superb um, PDF generator, by the way. Uh, their API is just easy, very easy to use. So 10 out of 10 on ease of use plus setup is stupendously easy. So yeah. So yeah, that's that for the certifications. Uh, let me go ahead and try to play out a few courses just to populate the ongoing courses. Okay, so I went ahead and I have, uh, you know, enrolled into more courses just to kind of show you what the overall dashboard looks like. Now we have a few ongoing courses here and then scrolling down, we have uh, our bookmarks and of course the completed course here. This pretty much brings us to the end of our Flow Academy demo. Uh, the only thing left to show you is what the unenroll process looks like. Let's say if you decide that you would like to unenroll from this course, of course, uh, we're going to ask here, are you sure? Uh, unenrolling from the course will remove all your progress and notes. Yes, I'm sure. So once you click on that and there we go, your course is gone. You're unenrolled from this course. If Again, if you want to, you can go back in if you like, but that is completely up to you. Um, we, okay, there we go. So that has refreshed now. So I was, I was wondering why it hasn't refreshed yet. Um, so like I said, it does take a while to refresh because Xano is computing a lot of data for this section alone. And the only thing left on the list now is our account settings and managed subscription. So let's check those out. Uh, okay, so for the account settings, it's pretty standard stuff. You can change and update your account settings on the fly and change your password and email if you want to. Let's save that change. All right. It's account has been updated and there you, you can see that um, my first name is now has been updated change this back to Onnoy. all right perfect so let's head over to manage subscription so this will take you to your stripe uh, page where you can cancel the plan or you can update the plan or if you you like you can change the plan altogether so that is handled directly on stripe if I here, obviously it takes me back here and yeah that's that's it that's it for uh, the flow Academy demo um, final thoughts I would say is that this is quite an advanced build I had to if you're not familiar with my previous builds um, so I can't code which is why I used chat GPT quite a lot to do the entire code and chat GPT has been has coded the entire thing out uh, for this little app here um, the, that is something that will be uh, shared as well on the um, upcoming tutorial series. Uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to that. I'm currently working on those tutorials, uh, so the, yeah, they should be they should be arriving any any week now. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments, and I'll get to those. Yeah, thank you for watching.